Hello, this is Chef John from FoodWishes.com with chocolate sauce. That's right, also known as hot fudge, also known as chocolate syrup, or syrup, if you're getting paid by the syllable. But anyway, we'll discuss in the blog post what this really should be called. In the meantime, let me show you how to make it. All right, we're going to start by getting our dry ingredients together, which are white granulated sugar, just a little touch of flour, and a really high-quality unsweetened cocoa powder. By the way, thanks to reality television, now whenever I hear the word cocoa, I don't think of chocolate. Thanks a lot, Ice-T. All right, speaking of lumps, we're going to get in there with a whisk, and we're going to mix this until there's absolutely no chunks, no lumps, no nothing, and it's all been perfectly blended together. And then it's on to the wet ingredients. And for those, we're going to need some milk in a saucepan over medium heat. We're going to throw in a chunk of butter and a little bit of vanilla, and we're just going to wait until the butter melts, all right? And as soon as the butter melts, that mixture is going to be hot enough for you to whisk in your dry ingredients. So you got your whisk in one hand, I don't care which one, and your dry ingredients in the other, and you're just going to sprinkle it in a little at a time, mixing it in, mixing it in, and you should have no problems with any kind of lumps or any other issues, except you might get a little bit of cocoa dust coming up, but that's okay. The only problem, it kind of screws up your shot if you're trying to film, which is why right there I just dumped in everything. So we're going to dump in the dry ingredients. At that point, we're going to turn the heat up to medium high. This is going to come up to a simmer, and we are going to cook, stirring almost constantly for six minutes, okay? Five is not long enough, seven, too long. So it's a good simmer. It's not a rolling, violent boil. That would be too high heat. Now, I stir pretty much constantly, but I am stopping a few times here to show you what it should look like, and that's what it should look like. All right, it's going to thicken up. So you want it to look something like that. And after the six minutes, you're pretty much done. All right, turn off the heat. If you want to add just a little bit of salt to this, I really think it does bring out the chocolate flavor very nicely. So I'm going to whisk that in. I'm going to give this one final vigorous stir, and that chocolate sauce is done and ready for good guess. We're going to put this over some ice cream. Of course, you can pour this into some airtight containers and keep that in the fridge. I'm sure it keeps a long time. How long exactly? I have no idea. What do I look like? Some kind of chocolate sauce life expectancy expert? Actually, I do kind of look like one of those, but I have a feeling that's not going to be a problem. You will probably use this up quickly. If you put it over ice cream when it's hot, you can call it hot fudge, but it's really technically not hot fudge, which is actually melted fudge that turns back into fudge when it gets cold on your ice cream. Even though it does get thicker once it hits the cold ice cream, it still stays fairly fluid. It's not going to turn into like a chocolate fudge candy. Okay? And yes, I'm sure I will eventually show you real hot fudge sauce, which is a little trickier and more complicated, but I'm sure we can do it. Anyway, I hope you give this a try. It's good, and it's good for you. And I don't mean nutritionally. I mean spiritually, which is way more important. Okay? Head over to foodwishes.com for all the ingredient amounts and more info as usual. And as always, enjoy. Enjoy.